Hey everybody, welcome back to another IndyCar diecast review. Second time I've ever reviewed an IndyCar. Uh, this is Elio Castroneves' 2021 Indianapolis 500 race, not raced version, but it's his Indianapolis 500 win car. What does that mean? No raced detail, but it is the exact paint scheme that wins. And that's how IndyCar does theirs. They don't do raced versions where you have all the dirt and the grime and the, you know, all that stuff. You just get the paint scheme that was, that it looked like when it started the 500. So, um, oh, excuse me. So, uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this one today. Um, look at the special artwork, special box, and kind of go from there. Um, first things first, this one actually does have a sleeve so here's the outside sleeve at Indy 500, May 30th, 2021. See the number 06, 2021 Indianapolis 500 champion, Elio. There you got the picture of him. This was his fourth and record tying Indy 500 win. There you can see uh, the car on track. Uh, I don't know if that was his um, at the finish line. I think there were some lap cars maybe. You can see it's made by Greenlight. We got Elio there. Um, let's see here. Uh, there we go. We got a good picture on the other side too. Figure we better show that show that off there we got a picture uh there's elio there with the uh with the trophy uh what is that called again warner is it i i'm i'm feeling embarrassed i don't remember the full name of the trophy this is the one with all the faces on it it's in the indy 500 or indianapolis museum you can see all the dirt or rubber particles that would be down on the far right side you can see right by the sirius xm that's going to be all clean on this car so uh, again like i said not a raced version uh each side has a picture of elio with the with the milk then we can take the sleeve off here quick and i'm going to show you this next part uh, there we have tw the 2021 Indianapolis 500 champion. There you see him climbing the fence. Um, there you see him dumping the milk uh, up here on the top, Indy 500, presented by Gainbridge. And then um, let's go to each side. There's another picture. Uh, the art is really very custom. Like every picture is unique. Not any of them are the same. And then here on the back, you can see we got a picture um, uh, again. And then um, this is where we have kind of a... Um, like a description you know how the race win card has the the description of the race sometimes that's basically what this does now that's something i do wish any card would have have some more of the race stats on here like really changes you know just the whatever stats from the race it would be and uh, career victories things like that i mean it'd be kind of cool you know put it on the bottom or something um but yeah so we can see that it's got um you know basically the story of it and it said he tied foyt unser and rick mears at four times as a four-time winner so um coolest part was he got w one uh 2001 2002 2009 so he had three and then he had a whole decade before he got his fourth one which is kind of neat because um you know some of the other ones were very similar to that you know you look at a Foyt, it was three in in the first chunk of years and then a whole decade and then um you know 78 to 87 for uh unser and uh rick mears was the only one that was kind of steady because it was 79 84 88 91 so it's like almost three to four years apart each time um but yeah it's kind of a neat little trend that you see but uh yeah overall the box artwork is is awesome it's a well done option or uh like it's, it's a well done uh part to have on there it comes in this base or insert you can see the ties i have the ties loosened but not off so that way i can make the video and put it right back in there um but yeah so you can see that's the insert that goes in there as well and um yeah i think we're good to go let's go ahead and take a look at this car so this is a 118th scale model what does that mean it is big like not super big but big uh you can see on the left side we've got the super speedway wing on the front here uh we've got honda on the front along with drive pink indycar series delara and msr um down there on the front sirius xm on the front of the wing there as we go to the side and up to the front you can see or not up the front uh, up on top of the halo there you can see we've got auto nation sirius xm honda we got auto nation up here on the top sirius xm uh down there listen free through june 8th uh obviously it's past that we got the number 06 up there along with that is the usually i believe the onboard camera up there probably also like a transponder something for the race control uh we got the two mirrors here on the side uh you can see right here where we've got um the the base plate i guess and i'm not sure what they call it um but it's this plate that goes underneath the indy car you can see uh, right there a little diffuser towards the back but um it's for aerodynamics to help suck the car down to the ground um here you can see we've got auto nation sirius xm 
Firestone NTT um, Drive Pink, powered by Honda. And then we got AutoNation back here. AutoNation also here on the rear wing. It is a Super Speedway rear wing, so not much of it there. You can see a very basic and small rear wing. Carbon fiber components on all these areas as well. As we go around to the right side, you can see we've got the Firestone Firehawk tires. These, I believe, are um, always used on the ovals or super speedways. Like, they have different compounds for road courses or street races, um, but then they do have one compound for the super speedways or ovals. I'm not sure for Iowa. That's a short one. But, uh, yeah, so on the right side, AutoNation, we got, um, is it Speedy? I can't remember what it's called. Speedway. Speedway gas stations. That's right, because they don't use Sunoco like uh, NASCAR does. Um, got our number 06 up here on the front. Uh, as I said, we do have our halo and our windscreen there um, up in the front, which is a new thing. I wonder how that's working. I still think Indy cars are usually getting signed up over here, but someday they'll uh, hopefully have a windscreen or some way that they'll sign nicely. Because windshields are perfect for signing. I'll, I'll say that. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look underneath the car here. Uh, you can see it's pretty basic. We do have kind of a diffuser shape here in the back, but otherwise it is pretty basic underneath. Um, now, I will say here's something that's cool if you guys have never noticed this. Um, obviously, th this is, I am not preaching to the Indy car choir here you guys know exactly what's going on this is more for the, the nascar casuals but um you can obviously see right off the bat we've got the road course wing here this is the car i got to see win at the Indy road course um when i was there last year so it was will powers five verizon 5g car you can see here um this is obviously the super speedway car much smaller wing much smaller plates here on the end of it um which you know i, I don't know maybe these wings would do better for road races i'm not sure honestly uh could be wrong but um you can see also as we go to we'll go to the back here quick and we'll take a look at the rear wing because the rear wing also has quite a bit of difference to it one is obviously much bigger than the other um but that is something i wonder is how how much change those wings could help make as far as the racing quality because it is really tough to pass an indy car like even formula one has the drs that help pass so um you know any car doesn't have something like that like they can still get some moves made but it, it is definitely probably the hardest series to pass in uh when you're clearly better than a car in front of you so uh but yeah you can see the large wing on the one side here you can see it's just a very small wing on the uh on the castro neves car here very very simple very small you see this one much bigger much you know bigger side plates bigger on the on the actual wing here that gives it down for us so um i really like this willpower car i'm not gonna lie it's one of the prettiest prettiest cars because of its flat black that's that's one of the things that make it look great but uh obviously this being an indy 500 car it's going to be sought after for that reason so uh i decided i'd pick one up uh make a video on it i don't think i'll be keeping this one i'll i'll be keeping my first indy 500 car whenever uh i find a way to make it down to that uh, to that race so um but yeah so this will be up on the website if you guys are interested uh, i do have just one of them at the moment i can always uh potentially snag another one if needed but um i just want to get a chance to show this one off uh I, it's the first time i've ever gotten a quote-unquote raced version or a at least a raced special for the uh indycar series so um pretty cool there i am i'm definitely a, a fan of it um so hopefully when i go to iowa this year i'll have uh, a couple new ones to add in so uh, anyway, guys, though, that'll wrap up the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Turn on the bell and subscribe for more diecast content. I even uh, tag David Landon here because he needs to, you know, rate these videos because I don't think I had half the terminology right. So I'm going to need a little education on some of the IndyCar terms. I, I do watch a decent amount, but I do not know near enough about the the, the parts and pieces on these cars and stuff. He's, he's obviously way more plugged in. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze. We'll see you in the next diecast review.